Well, actually, if you want to know anything about the Iranian election today, um, you should probably be uh, tuned into my channel because I'm here to tell you that I know nothing, virtually nothing about it in terms of actual um, things that went on there. So from the outside, I have to tell you that uh, I am not an expert on anything that is going on in Iran at the present moment. And all I have to tell you is that what we're hearing from Western news agencies um, mostly um, is perhaps uh, somewhat skewed, um, as it always is. So we may not be getting the entire truth in terms of election fraud and so on. We don't know really what is going on. And so I can't, I can't venture out here with any kind of an opinion because I don't know really what is going on in Iran internally. So we, we should probably all reserve our judgment uh, as, to, uh, as to what has happened there. Now there were uh, some uh, very prominent uh, commenters uh, on uh, uh, several websites who offered an opinion nevertheless, some of which went like this. Do your friends who watch the country say uh, about, uh, what do your friends say who watch the country about the election bias? People likely to talk to Western journalists and academics are likely to be reformers anyway. I think a large part of the problem from our perspective here in the U.S. is that uh, we saw stuff like Ann Curry's reporting, which was very one-sided and painted a picture that we wanted to believe in. My understanding is that most of Ahmadinejad's support comes from the countryside, yet Curry and other Western re journalists didn't go there. So we only had the picture of the urban Iranians uh, who were disgusted with their regime, a picture I want to believe in too, but a picture that may not be the whole truth. Another commenter ventures on to say, well, if the mullahs were sure that Ahmadinejad would win, then they wouldn't have felt the need to stuff the ballot boxes in northern Tehran and in Muzavi's own hometown. Again, Ahmadinejad is winning in North Tehran would be like Pat Buchanan winning in Harlem. Again, all of this is uh, coming basically from, um, from a Western perspective. So, you know, I, I reserve any opinion on this uh, at this point because I, I personally don't know any um, Iranians and um, the few friends I have on here on YouTube, um, I, I haven't heard anything from them and, and their opinions uh, might be just as biased too. I don't know. I mean, there is n nothing I can say. Um, we here tend to be focused on this whole nuclear issue, the issue between um, um, the Israelis and Iranians and, and this whole uh, uh, very, very explosive issue uh, when people actually living there might be focused on uh, something uh, completely different like the economy or um, their dwindling resources, um, their crashing social programs and so on. So uh, without some uh, internal feedback from average Iranians um, to us here in the States, we can't really, um, we can't really trust the official news on, on any account. So, um, I mean, it seems, um, <laughs> it seems a bit weird that some candidate would uh, have a landslide election um, under these circumstances. But then again, you know, we are focused on foreign policy here when we are talking about Iran, when the internal problems of that country might be, you know, something that none of us have even thought about. So, as I say, um, um, when I don't uh, know about something, then um, I admit it. So, I don't know enough. That's it for tonight.